Philadelphia police are hoping for a break in a July hit and run that left one man dead. They've released new surveillance video. They hope it will bring justice to that man's family. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe joins us from the Accident Investigation District in Brewery Town. Trang? Well, Yuki, police have followed up on several leads and have even checked out a few cars matching the vehicle's description, but nothing has panned out. Today, the victim's family is also pleading with the public to help them identify the driver who has stolen so much from them. He was a terrific son. Bill and Monica Lindsay lost their oldest child, Will, on July 12th. New surveillance video shows the car police say struck and killed the 32-year-old and sped away. Around 8.30 p.m., Lindsay was riding his bicycle north on the 3800 block of Ridge Avenue when police say he was hit by a white Chevy Camaro with a red racing stripe on the hood and trunk. It's not necessarily a crime to be involved in a crash or to be involved in hitting a pedestrian. But once you leave that person there, you have committed a crime. We need to hold these people accountable. Captain Mark Overwise of the Accident Investigation District says sadly the Lindsays are one of many families who have lost loved ones this year to reckless drivers in the city. Our traffic fatalities this year up to the end of August are up 25 percent compared to last year at the end of August. It seems like it's a little bit of a free for all out there. Bill Lindsay spoke out about his family's heartbreaking loss and their hope that the driver who killed their son and brother is brought to justice. He was a great a scientist down at the Navy Yard at Wushi Aptek, a uh, fantastic individual, a light, a light shining in all of our lives. We just want the person to come forward and give us a little bit of closure on this. Now, to encourage people to come forward, the city of Philadelphia is offering up a $20,000 reward for information leading to a conviction in this case. This is on top of the $5,000 already offered up by the FOP. But for now, we're live from the Accident Investigation District in Brewerytown. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yuki.